Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA course tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain using VBA ADODB connection, how to display records from an SQL Server database into an Excel ActiveX controls list box. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice in the ActiveX list box control, we got all the data from SQL Server database table employee. This is the employee table. These are the column names, employee ID, employee name, email and salary. We have populated into our list box control using a VBA code ActiveX object. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new blank workbook. I am selecting the blank workbook. And here we got the new blank workbook. The workbook name is a book one. Now my aim is first I need to add one list box control from the ActiveX controls. Now let's add one ActiveX controls to the list box control. Go to developer. In the menu option, there is a developer. Click that one. Then the developer, there is a controls option. In this controls, there is an insert controls option here. Click that one. Once you expand this insert controls, you've got two control types, form controls and ActiveX controls. For this example, I'm using the ActiveX controls. In this ActiveX controls, I'm adding the list box. So I'm selecting the list box and placing I'm placing on our Excel sheet. Now, let's go to code behind window for this list box to write the code. Select the list box, right click the mouse, go to view code. And here we got the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. And we need to select the worksheet, worksheet and active, activate, worksheet underscore activate event. We need to select and we don't require the list box click and this one also selection change even also let's delete those all those all and now here the code is before writing the code to connect the adodb connections first we need we need to require to add one reference for the activex object for that in the Microsoft Visual Basic Applications, there is a Tools option in the menu. Click that one. In the Tools, there is a References. Click that one. And here from the References, scroll down, find the Microsoft ActiveX Data Objects 2.0 Library. Select that checkbox control. Once you select, you got the tick mark, which means it's selected. Click OK. After that, now let's write the code. Before writing the code, let's Connect to my SQL Server database, we'll check the tables. I'm connecting to my SQL Server Management Studio. Connect. After I connected successfully, I'm expanding the databases. Now from the databases, I'm taking the uh, uh, database name is a user database, Charan database. I'm expanding the Charan database. I'm expanding the tables of the Charan databases. After that, uh, for this example, I'm taking the employee table, select top thousand rows. And here we got the results from the below in the preview from this uh, employee table, which contains four columns, employee ID, employee name, email, and salary. Now let's get these all data, these four columns into this list box control using a VBA code, VBA Adobe DB connections. So first we require three objects here. The first object is dim con as Adobe DB dot connection. Notice here we got Adobe DB connections we are getting from the um, intelligence. If you don't add these references which I have showed you earlier, the Microsoft ActiveX Objects 2.0, you don't get these out. First, we need to add that reference. Then the second object record set as adodb dot record set. The third one, our connection string from SQL Server database as string. After that, 
after adding these three objects now we require the data source which is a connection string of our SQL server first one provider provider is equals to sqlodb colon double quotes and I'm adding ampersand underscore space so I can add the uh, new line the data connection string again the se uh, uh, second parameter is the data source data as for you all see d and s are the capitals data source is equals to here the data source is our database name our database name is Charan, uh, sorry not the database data source is our server name our server name is this is the server name let's copy this server name cancel this one switch over to the uh, vba code vba code colon ampersand underscore the third parameter is initial catalog initial catalog is equals to the initial catalog is our table name our database name sorry the first one the data source is our server name initial catalog takes a database now our database name is charan database let's add that one the charan database and person underscore so i can add the fourth parameter in the new line then initial integrated security i is capital here integrated security is equals to sspi that's it we require these four parameters provider data source initial catalog and integrated security which is our connection string to connect this sql server database now uh, once we got the connection string we need to open the connection string of the adio db for that um, set 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 con is equals to new adio db dot connection i have created one object after that uh, con dot open method in this open method notice once i enter the space bar i want to add the connection string as string so our connection string is the sql con sql con then once we open the connection we require to add the sql statement the sql statement is i'm using set rs record set is equals to con dot execute method in this execute method i am adding this command um, which command to display all the records select uh, start from emp select start from employee the table name employee then uh, then once we execute the statement i want to display records uh, records in this list box control so for that i'm using while loop while rs dot end of file uh, while file is equals to false let's close the while loop um, while and while and now here the list box one dot uh, list box one dot add item add item rs dot fields first index is zero zero is is the employee id employee id zero zero employee id value value i'm adding ampersand ampersand another ampersand now between these ampersand i'm adding some space let's add um the hyphen symbol now instead of writing the same thing let's copy this one paste paste and paste let's close this one now here the first field name is zero the index number is zero second one is a one one is the pmp name two is the email three is the salary so let's change the index numbers 
we got 0 here, 1 here fills 1, now the fields 2 and the last one is the fields 3, that is it. Now after that, uh, we need to add rs dot move next, move next, that is it. We have done the coding part. Now let's check the final output. I am executing the statement run. Let's switch over here. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice in the ActiveX list box control, we got all the data from SQL Server database table employee. This is the employee table. These are the column names, employee ID, employee name, email and salary. We have populated into our list box control using a VBA code ActiveX object. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to fetch records and display records into a list box control from VBA, Excel VBA code using a ADO DB connections. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment. Catch you in my next video tutorial.